In Hawaii, volcanic eruptions are both feared and revered. Generations have told of the legend of Pele, the goddess of volcanoes. She who shapes the sacred land. It's out of our control. But we can put that feeling of love and aloha out there and just be a part of nature. In modern times, the Kilauea volcano has been spewing lava on a regular basis for decades. Rock, soot, and ash shot out of the earth more than 100 feet in the air. We have an eruption. It's about six blocks away from our house right now. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. It's, oh, my God. It's, like, big. The heat, I would say, it's uh, what I'm feeling. I'm standing 20 feet away. About uh, 130, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Kilauea's eruptions have had devastating effects. In 2018, it forced entire neighborhoods to be evacuated. Homes and businesses were destroyed. And people have even been hurt. Lava for the fourth day in a row today in what scientists are calling a major eruption. Lava. On the Big Island, Kilauea started erupting long before 1983. Geologists believe volcanic eruptions formed the first islands 40 to 70 million years ago. The Hawaiian Islands would not exist were it not for volcanoes. Even now, lava from Kilauea is changing Hawaii's coastline. A recent eruption added hundreds of acres of new land to the Big Island. The added land equals the size of roughly 600 football fields of fertile soil on the Big Island's southern coast. For now, the goddess of volcanoes remains calm. Kilauea's crater, once full of lava, has dried up. Her next eruption will be difficult to predict. Praying that the goddess will take care of what needs to be taken care of. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.